Okay, so new stock is just crashing and it seems there is no hope for it. Since the previous stop, one month ago, new is dropping roughly 30% and it failed miserably in reversing the bearish sentiment. There are many bearish signs on you, and if it triggers them, the next bearish leg might be intense. Is there any hope for NEO? Sure, but it has to react as soon as possible above its key support levels. We'll study NEO today. Welcome to the Finance Hydra channel. My name is Nathan. Let's start our technical analysis on NEO stock. First, we are losing a mid-term support level at $9.52. This support level over here was a previous bottom level on you. And what's the problem? The problem is that NEO is doing, again, a lower high, lower low. It already did a lower high over here on January this year. And by losing the previous support level, NEO is doing a lower low, indicating that the bearish sentiment, the bearish bias will most likely persist. A little bit longer. Again, mid-term speaking, the next technical target is the next support level, which is around $8.38, which is October 24th low over here. So, okay, new is supposed new is poised to drop more to lower levels. Is there any bullish reaction right now? No, there is not a single bullish reaction indicating that Neo could avoid this bearish crash, this bearish sentiment over here. What's the problem with this bearish thesis? Well, the problem is that we are about to report earnings on March 1 next week. So this will probably enhance the volatility. The volatility will increase in this area. And if NEO by any means triggers a bullish pattern over here, closing above the 9.52, in my humble opinion, NEO has decent chances of bouncing to higher levels, maybe to retest this purple trend line again. What's the problem? Well, this scenario wasn't materialized yet. NEO is going to report earnings next week, and so far there is no bullish reaction. Another problem with this thesis is that although it is a bullish thesis, although we could easily bounce to, to higher levels, uh, this will not be enough to reverse the bearish sentiment. New is still very bearish. We gotta see a bullish reversal structure on Neo in order to believe that we are going to actually reverse this bearish bias, right? So, so far, there's not a single bullish reversal structure. There's not even a bullish pattern over here near this support level. So, Neo is still extremely bearish. In the weekly chart, our problems begin because because we are inside a descending channel since uh, November 2020. This is quite problematic. Since November 2020, NEO is clearly bearish. We are doing lower highs, lower lows, consistently inside a descending channel, indicating that the, the bias, the trend is still clearly bearish. Another problem is that we see a bearish pattern over here in the weekly chart we see a possible head and shoulders chart pattern in a bottom level. This is extremely bearish. It is. It couldn't be more bearish. And by losing the neckline at $9.26, I'm so sorry, $9.26 is where we are right now. The neckline is 9.40. If Neil loses 9.40, new triggers this head and shoulders chart pattern, indicating that the bearish bias will most likely continue, will persist until new reaches lower support levels, the next bottom levels, which is, well, which is this area over here around the purple trend line over here, or possibly the 5.70. $5.07 is a very interesting technical target for NEO because it was a previous stop level over here on January 2020. And of course, according to the principle of polarity in technical analysis, previous top levels are going to work as future support levels and vice versa. So therefore, NEO could easily seek this area over here between $6 five dollars in the near future in the next couple of months however remember this pattern was not officially triggered yet we gotta wait for a crystal clear confirmation we gotta wait for new to close 
under 9.40 and then we'll see if we don't see any meaningful reaction in the daily chart, if we don't see any meaningful reaction after earnings, then probably NEO is going to resume this crash over here and seek lower levels. So we gotta wait for confirmation. Remember, trading is reactive, it is not predictive. The main difference between amateurs and pros is that pros wait for confirmation. As Jess Livermore said nearly one century ago, the greatest trader of all time. And of course, if you want to trade with me, check my website. The link is in the description of this video. Join the top 5% of traders that can actually make money and beat this market. I think you guys are going to enjoy our services. Now back to Neo's chart. What if it bounces? Well, if it bounces, as I told you guys, the next technical res resistance is this purple trend line up here. Okay, great. However, as far as I know, NEO could easily frustrate this head and shoulders chart pattern and retest this purple trend line up here around $15. And you know what? The trend would still be bearish in the weekly chart. Therefore, it is quite problematic to buy new in this situation of course we can buy us swing traders we can take advantage of any kind of movement on you so we gotta pay attention to these key support and resistance levels of course i'm gonna keep you guys updated every single day on this on this channel so if you are still not my subscriber and, and you are still watching this video probably you like it, the content so come on subscribe this channel click on the like button to support me and keep in touch with my daily analysis, daily insights on this channel. I really appreciate your audience, my dear friends. Stay safe, farewell.